Hey fellas, it's Willie P. Today I am bringing you a tutorial um, for the game Hyper Light Drifter. Um, uh, before we start, you see here I have a beautiful desktop image of King Khalid himself. You can get this image at my um, Instagram, William Pierce222. Yes, very good. Now um, to the tutorial. Okay. Now, you see, if I open Hyperlight Drifter, just gonna cut it out till it loads, you see that, um, it just crashes. Doesn't work. Oh no! I can't play my game. What you're gonna have to do is go into, um, the, you just gotta search for it. And you go Notepad, and you just get the notepad file but you got make sure this step is important make sure you run it as administrator because it won't let you change anything in the folder unless it's run as an administrator that's not why I'm just going directly in, that's why I'm not going directly into the folder and just doing that and just opening it so you got to go open and I'm already in the hyperlight drifter but you got to go um you got to go um computer uh, OS. You can go profile um for 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 people using it on Steam. You go program files, um Steam, Steam apps, common, and it'll be in here. But I'm using it outside of Steam, so I'm just gonna go into program files, and. And it should be here somewhere. Here. Okay, so I'm in you're in the Hyperlight Drifter um folder. And uh what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to search for option. Oh no, it's not there. It's not a text document, so you just do all files. You open it. Look. Now you got this little dialogue for options, the settings. What you're gonna have to do is change create textures on demand to one and create alternate sync method to one. You save that, control S or file, save, and you X out. Once you X out of that, you're gonna start it up and you're gonna be greeted by the same splash screen, but luckily, it works. Look at that. Okay, so um, I've been, um, Willie P, and um, I'll see you later, fellas. Willie P, out.